guys, I'm Vern. I'm Hannah. Welcome to another edition of Poggy Boy Production Channel. So, as you can see, Hannah has another box here from Re Redivis. Redivis! So, yeah, keep watching to see what's inside. All right, Hannah, you ready? Yeah. First of all, I want to thank Redivis for giving us a chance to uh, sponsor this product. They sent it to us. We're going to open it and do a little testing. Probably already know what it is from the thumbnail, but uh, yeah, Henry has kind of an idea of what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Do you need scissors? Uh, uh no. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, so here it is. Wow, cool, look at that. So, walkie talkies. Yep. Based from the product, um, this walkie talkie is supposed to be waterproof mm -hmm. and has a good amount of range. Uh, in the box, it comes with their charger. Rechargeable batteries. That's awesome. And of course the two uh, walkie-talkies. Yep. And here is your user manual, which is pretty simple and to the point. We'll read it, of course, as we always do. But not during the video. Mm. So how's it feel in your hand? Feels good. I mean, it's not too heavy, not too light. I mean, no batteries yet, but it feels really nice and sturdy. Um, well, this is supposed to be waterproof as advertised by the company and we will be testing that on how well the waterproofing of this thing is and the range of course we're going to try our best to <laughs> see how far uh Vern and i could find some distance between each other and test it out with the distance i mean i've seen the video that you sent me and the, the video that i saw uh was that the two guys was like half a mile apart <laughs> and they were still contacting each other in good range and we'll see if we could reproduce that distance <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, I'm assuming that the you know field of vision and there's not a lot of obstruction on the way like trees mm -hmm. you have better reception oh, but definitely, I'm yeah. sure it should you know still be able to communicate pretty well yeah regardless so I like the color too that's nice nice and bright <laughs> you'll see it in like in the dark, I guess, like in the water, if you drop it in the water, um, you'll see it right away. You won't get lost. You won't get, you won't get lost, but since this is waterproof, it's also, a, it floats, yeah. right? And it has um, a backlight, I guess, it's supposedly mm -hmm. that will turn on once it hits the water. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, if you accidentally drop it, like in the dark or something, the light will turn on and you will see how, you know, you will see where it is. Exactly. Yeah, so... Yeah, and uh, the batteries, of course, it comes with Yeah, it comes AA. with, uh, yeah, we get six AA batteries. I guess I'm assuming it's three AA's per walkie-talkie. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, are those clips? I think those are clips. Yeah, this is for the, you know, the bill clip. Oh, the bill goes the, in the back. Okay, yes. perfect. But definitely uh, we would need a flat nose. Screwdriver, you gotta, yeah. You have a flat nose, yep. okay, and to, to put in the batteries because, you know, this thing has to be watertight. So, you know, so that it could float and be waterproof. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll be right back. Alright, this one has a battery inside already. And I was able to put it in. And I was ready to put it into the second one. Uh, I like that the buttons are pretty clear. So the call button, the power button. Up the volume, your menu, scan, and the lamp. Oh, the lamp works if you press the button. It's pretty close to your thumb though, so you might be hitting it by accident. This is the SOS button here. Looks pretty good. Let's peel this off. ASMR action, go ahead, honey. <laughs> it was quiet. <laughs> no ASMR there. Nope. <laughs> no laughing. No ASMR for, uh, for you guys. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, sir. Right in here. <laughs> so right now, <clears throat> Brian's walking around the block to see the range, I guess. Uh, that's the best. Uh, uh, I'm almost at the store. Uh, still hear me? Yep, I can still hear you. Let's see how the range and with the structures around, if it's going to you know, mess around with the frequency, with all the built-in buildings were also on us. Let's see how well this uh, mic is. Still good? Hear me? Yep, Roger, Roger. I can still hear you. 
Yeah, I mean, that's the scenario is like an open field. Alright, I'm at the corner store. How's it? So far, so good. It's pretty clear. You're coming out pretty clear. There's a lot of buildings here, too. Like, a lot of interference. City. So, not bad. And this is like a block away. Alright, let's go back. So yeah, as, as you can see, Vern is in the corner store, which is a pretty good distance from his house or, in, or where we're filming. And as you could hear him, it's pretty clear still. Let's raise up the volume. All right, I got a bucket of water here. Uh, let's see what happens when I put it in there. Let's see. See that? It's floating. Whoa. And the light comes on. That's pretty neat. So you'll never lose this. That's pretty cool, guys. Good job. What's up, guys? Um, so now we're doing live testing. Live testing? Uh, what are you talking? So I went to the beach with my friend to test out the distance and the waterproofing. As you can see, I'm in the beach right now. The next time the wave comes in, I'm gonna drop this in the water. Hopefully, it doesn't float away. There you go. Oh, shit. <laughs> that shit almost floated away. <laughs> Dipping it in the water. Yeah, you won't see it, but it's still on. Hey. Looks like it's working. Working, working, working. Here you go. Walkie talkie in the water. Again. <laughs> uh, so it looks legit to be waterproof. I'll be testing it with the uh, distance. I'm gonna go all the way down there see what the other people are by that blue house probably that's where i'm gonna probably end up walking i don't know if you could see it but yeah i'm gonna try it all the way down there so i'll be back in a bit so now i'm testing going to be testing the distance of the radio i'm gonna be walking for quite some time as you can see, this that's where I started somewhere down there. I'm gonna go all the way down there. Let's see how it works, if it's still clear from a good distance. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm halfway to where I came from. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check, check in, let's see if I can come in. Hello, hello, check, check, one, two, three, check, check. Lori, Lori, hello, hello, hello. Check, 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 check. Lori. Lori, Lori. Am I coming in early? Uh, thing? Did you hear me earlier? Lori, did you hear me earlier? Lori, Lori, talk to me. I'm not videoing right now. Did you hear me earlier? But you're hear hearing me now though, right? There you go. I would say probably quarter of a mile. She finally heard me quarter of a mile. And uh, I was a good at least half a mile to probably three fourths of a mile, and she couldn't hear me. Um, I don't know, probably the volume was low or not, but so far she said that she couldn't hear me earlier. 
but like I'm halfway probably I would say this is a quarter of a mile and she finally heard me and responded to my call so yes that's the review for the distance as we as we see it fit all right Heller what do you think pretty good pretty not good. bad right technology has really improved itself uh, throughout these years <laughs> Yeah, these are pretty, this is my first walkie-talkie. I've never had one, but I've always seen it, you know, on TV and movies and be, actually, be able to actually use it. Henry, you've used one before, right? Somewhat, uh, but I had the old, uh, you know, one of those, one you could pick up from Target or something. Yeah. Um, that one didn't work out too well. It's supposed to have a two-mile ra uh, range, but it wasn't too clear. I mean... <laughs> was it battery-operated? Yeah, it was battery-operated, and... Um, it wasn't too clear after a certain range because um, I used it, you know, for a convoy, mm. you know, car convoys. And this is pre uh, cell phone days. So <laughs> oh, okay. there's no way to communicate each other if you get lost or anything like that uh, other than walkie talkies. But that one didn't work out too well for me. But looks like from this uh, technology, Vern was all the way down to the corner store. In the store. corner store with all these structures, buildings to block the frequency and he still came out pretty clear which is which was really good. Yeah, um, you could also press the weather button. 5 to 10 knots. The coming south to southwest like, 5 to 15 knots. And all the, uh, I don't know how you say it. Like, I guess you could tell the weather. Tell, tell yeah, me, like, it'll go to like a weather channel. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it'll tell you like the wind, no, uh, the wind speed or you know the water and knots and yep. stuff we're mm -hmm. not you know not aqua people that we <laughs> I'm familiar with the lingo <laughs> the linguos of um with the with you know the sea or you know yeah. water stuff but so far so good uh you also saw the waterproof test that henry did at the beach which is pretty cool um tested the range is good uh so uh yeah final thoughts henry what do you think thumbs up i would say a thumbs up okay uh, I will leave the description to this Redivis two-way radio down below. Hit them up if you're interested. I think it's worth the sh purchase. Yeah, especially if you go, I would think it's really good if you go camping, you know, mm -hmm. you go kayaking. fishing, kayaking, fishing, and you can't really bring your, your cell phone there. I mean, you can, but you don't want to damage like a $800 <laughs> or a $1,000 phone in, or, the, water, in right? the water and stuff. So this is your next best choice, which is good. Or if you're out in the woods and you suddenly lose inter uh, signal. Oh, inter yes, definitely. Yeah. You should have this. You so. won't be able to call them if you don't have signal in the woods. And uh, this is the best choice to communicate with one another. Right. And it all oh, just a thing. It comes with a you know belt hook as well. So keep it in your belt on your waist. So or your or your straps in your book bag, so yes. Or even here, right here on top of your shirt, so very handy. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely use it when we go like if we go hiking. Yes, during the summer, so definitely. Or we we'll go camping. Mm -hmm. So yeah, all the info down below. Make sure you give them, uh, you hit them up, and uh, yeah, tell them Pogi Boy Production sent you. So anyway, Henry, last words. Yes, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Ding ding ding. See you guys. <laughs>